Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I am going to show you quickly here what the rectangular play is all about. So we have this, these two objects belonging to that uh, that uh, piece of add-on, and uh, as with the spherical play, this here, uh, the angular play, sorry, uh, is that this uh, box here contains this. Uh, cross here at all times. So let's see it in action so you understand what I'm saying here. Let's create a direct input link like that and uh, simply move it. Uh, let's make it a little bit uh, larger also. Backwards actually, like that. And scale it a little bit so it's larger than the box. Yeah, so we can also scale this. Um, box here. Let's just scale it in different directions here, like so. Yeah, like that. So. Uh, yeah. Perhaps this one should be even larger. Like that. Okay, so this one is red now, and red in Craft Direct Studio usually means you should parent it to something. So I parent it to this actuator here, so we can move with it. And let's have a look at it. Let's see what happens with this cross inside of here. A play is a mechanical play. I mean, in machines you always have something that it doesn't uh, follow exactly, it hooks on. Like a train, for example. A train wagon uh, hooks on first after it has moved in that direction for a while. One more thing that is important here that I see is that uh, the rectangular play is actually a slave to the direct input link now. And therefore, it is important that this one is simulated after the direct input link. So now it's underneath it, uh, so that we don't get strange delay effects and stuff. Okay, let's just map the direct input link to a gamepad here, for example, and I hit record. So let's see here. So if I move this object forward I see that I also have a little bounce effect here or not a bounce effect but um, it uh, it sort of it's like oily and stuff so that's the default of this one I could change that so that it only um, it doesn't um, bounce too much so if I have a friction wall friction here that is one say then we can change this kind of bounciness here you see now it just stays there it's just actually it's more like bounciness i would say like that so then it's deep in oil and if we allow some slight bouncing then uh, i guess the parameter here must be changed let's put the zero there and just see what happens So it bounces a little bit here, and um, yeah. So that's how you you use this uh, sort of tool here. And uh, I see that the wall friction should be at least uh, one, say, so that we have something to to move on here. Otherwise, yeah. So there's a slight bounciness here and stuff. So the thing is here that uh, you get a play, and that's it. Thank you very much.